Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Now, when last we left off, we, uh... What? Where's, where's the other big guy? Did he disappear or die or something? Whoop! All right, well, when last we left off, we had started. We had uh, started our journey into the uh, painted world of Ariandel. Yeah, where did the other guy go? There was another one of these milkweed doofuses. I don't know where he went. How about we move over here? Somewhere a bit less precarious. I think he agrees. Less precarious, that's the key. But we had finished out, uh... There sounds like there might be an enemy. I gotta say, I have no idea where that other Milkwood Knight went. There was there was a guy in between me and the archer when the last video left off. And I guess he's just not here anymore. Now, do I want to try to figure out what this guy's guarding? Or am I going to decide that I don't care because his eyes are all red and glowy? That's usually a sign that he will absolutely kick my ass, if I'm not careful. Whatever's there may not be that important. I, uh, I choose to assume it's probably not that important. Yeah, where did that other guy go? He was right here. Okay, uh, I guess I'll count myself lucky that I didn't have to fight him. Large Titanite Shard, very nice. Okay, is there anything in here? Like, enemies? Okay, there's a big boy. <coughs> Aha! Look at that! I created a bridge. A bridge between two worlds. Mine, and probably the underworld, I guess. Anyway, very nice. I am, uh... I'm a big fan of that. Peace between worlds. Okay. What? Okay. I'm... What? Oh, good. Oh, good. There's, there's two of them. Wow. Okay. What? What in the hell is happening here? I... So what is even doing that? This is what I want to know. Oh. It's that jerk. Well, 
little lame that it doesn't do damage to them. Doesn't really make sense how uh, how these uh, cataclysms fit together. do a stupid thing and run in here. Ooh. Hello. What's this? Earthseeker. Nice. Hey, uh, it's, a, it's okay, man. I, I actually, uh, I, I actually already looted the item, so we, we don't have to fight. <clears throat> we can, we can just live and let live now. Thank you for, uh... What? Oh, come on. Really? From all the way over there, he can, he can still hit me. I'm assuming there's a point where I can get far enough away that he's not actually going to be a threat. Okay, this is where I was. This is how I came down there. More or less. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. <coughs> I suppose I could go after that archer now. Oh. Nope, never mind. I mean, I still can, I just... What won't. Because we're almost to the end. These flies are like dung beetles, only they're worse. Woohoo! I think it's safe to say I don't entirely want to know. I don't really want to know what they're spitting out. It's honestly enough to know that there's a lot of them. What? Wow! That was entirely accidental! I didn't even know that was there! Last time I did this, I just kind of fell down. Wow, there's a lot of you. Yep, just uh, keep munching. Don't, don't mind little old me. Just need to run through and... I'm just seems to be exterminator, I guess. <coughs> Man, that thing's got some range to it. Nice of them to give me some human pine resin, though. I, uh, I'm a fan of that. Looks weird. Okay, not weird. Totally normal. <clears throat> anyway, there is a switch in here. We're gonna hit that switch and it's gonna allow us to move forward. Oh, come on. That was stylish. Really stylish moves there. Uh, didn't accomplish anything, but it was really fun to look at. Ha, Mr. Wasp. Whoa. I guess we just traded places. How are they losing health? Most of these guys have, like, a little less, less health than they should. 
Hi. Bye. Thankfully, uh, although there are a lot of them, they're not particularly hard. Although, like most enemies, I'm assuming... What? Yeah. Uh, this is going to take some quick menuing. Woo Where's the frickin' torch? Where's the torch? There we go. Second thought. Let's put it over here. Boosh. Blood gem. Hmm, get, should get a decent amount of time with the final boss. Ow. Especially once I do this. <clears throat> this is going to open up a secret passageway inside the little cathedral that Freed was guarding. And will allow us to face off against the uh, final boss of the area. Much to her chagrin, as we will soon see. Vaguely insulting, but whatever, I'll take it. Alright, our uh, bug genocide is just about done. Ooh, can get Wilhelm's attire. I thought I heard a crystal lizard. I, I hear it again. I think it's upstairs, though. Anyway. Sister Freed is not terribly concerned with us. Which, uh, once the boss fight starts, that may begin to make sense. I'm gonna just leave it at may. I mean, I thought that the Nameless King... What? How? Rude. Very rude. I don't know why I said how. It's a fly. It can it can it can hang on to the walls. It's really zoologically speaking, really nothing all that surprising to be had there. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna use a uh, repair powder. I, mean, I could. 
I don't think I need to though, because we're right at the end. Like literally, I walk up these stairs, I go through a door, we're right on Freed's doorstep. Yep, here we are. <coughs> cool. Take the bonfire. Uh, I am going to go back to Firelink. Uh, I'm going to try to level up. But I will level up. And then potentially the rest of this video and part of the next one will be spent trying to beat Freed into submission. Not an easy task. Very well then, Tothaken. Ah, almost. Well, Ashen One. Oh, I'll be back in literally two seconds. No farewells. Perfect. Welcome, Aspi. Very then, Tothaken. Awesome. More BV. Okay, first things first. Uh, yeah, no point to using the Flesh Bite Ring at all. Uh, I will need the Flame Stone Plate Ring. Uh, the rest is all good. So if I were to take this off, okay, yeah, that won't that won't work. If I were to trade it for this, okay, I can still wear everything. Pumps my. Uh, HP, endurance, and all that up pretty high. Maybe I'll try that for a... for a level or two. Or for an attempt or two, I should say. Yeah, it doesn't give you a lot. Let's see... I guess we'll have to see what the actual... Yeah, okay, no, I'll, I'll put this back on. Uh, I maybe want to think about putting on an Estus Ring. These dudes can be tough. Spelled T-U-F-F-E. Alright, let's see. Is this really what I want? Definitely want the extra dex. Yeah, Ring of Favor, definitely. Flamestone Plate's gonna do, do me some good. Ah. Um... Magic, dark, lightning, fire. Uh, Deuces frost build up, cures frostbite status. I don't see that helping all that much. Uh, I am going to put on some Karthus Rouge, though. I'll probably not even use it. Heck, I'll probably forget I even have it. But here we go! Now very similar to uh, the Nameless King, I have a... <laughs> I have a massive losing record against this guy. In fact, I have a massive losing record against all but two of the remaining bosses out of five. Uh, DLC bosses, I should say. Two out of the remaining five I have beaten on my first try. I'll leave you to piece out which ones. One of them's going to be really easy. The other one's going to surprise you. Um, yeah. Is this, is this what I want? I think so. Uh, is there anything that does better against Frost? The Winged Knight Helm. Better against Frost and Fire. Cathedral Knight Armor. Uh, it's actually not much of a production. Uh, not good against Slash. Good against Thrust and Strike. Well, th these are Slash enemies. Armor of Thorns. Let's see here. Yeah, Dragon Slayer armor brings it down quite a bit. I do definitely want high Frost resistance and high Fire resistance. This is an enemy that exudes both. I can put on the Winged Knight armor, and that's that's gonna up a little bit. How? Yeah. 
Not not a far drop. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, not for the gauntlets. Uh, but yes to the leggings. Very minor reductions there. Well, what can I say, Shethayid? You look <laughs> absolutely absurd. Alright, let's see how many tries this takes. He's an interesting one. Oh, sorry, I just wanted to see what was inside the thing. Oh, you're pretty. Love at first sight. Honestly, he and Shethaya deserve each other. <laughs> that helmet is so ridiculous. Fret not, Father. We have no need of thy flail. Tis only the flame quivering at misguided ash. Please avert thine eyes. This is like the this is basically the Lady Maria fight of uh, Dark Souls 3. If you don't know Met Lady Maria. Keep watching until I get to Bloodborne. This fight can be rough. We'll see if I can... Chances are I do not one-shot her. Now when she goes invisible like that, pay really close attention to where she jumps. Easy enough first phase. Like with all great Dark Souls 3 bosses, uh, well, <laughs> we ain't done yet. <clears throat> it's okay, Father Ariandel. I just murdered your flail lady. He's, uh, he's going to become a bit irate. <coughs> I understand that. What a voice. He's, he's a tenor one. He wants Freed back. I, uh, I get that I've upset you. Uh, could you just use your words and tell me exactly what I've done wrong? Uh, oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> uh. 
This man uh, knows no such thing as fire safety. I probably shouldn't joke. Uh, they're probably going to kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> now you get to fight two of them, so, you know, probably don't lock on. Titanite slab, very nice. Wow, 12 Estus flask. I really need to stop, but... Oh, shit. No. No. No, 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 no. Okay, first things first, run toward her and get behind her. Get the backstab and follow up immediately. I uh, went the wrong ass way. I thought she went the other way. I gotta be careful with Freed. She is way fast. Ah! Shoot! Would you lock on already? She keep going invisible. Yikes. Wow. All right, well. All right. Perfect. Game. That's 
Watch. No. Game set match. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, I very nearly screwed up. <laughs> I so nearly screwed up the catchphrase. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at that, literally down to my final flask. I beat her by a millimeter. <laughs> Whew. All right. One DLC down, one to go. Ah. <sighs> Damn, that was close. <laughs> oh, I would have been so mad. <laughs> so, so mad. Ah, good, wasn't All right. Uh, I don't need to do this, but kind of just in case, I would like to upgrade the uh, Warden Twin Blades. Assuming I can find them. Here they are. I'm assuming I have more than enough materials to fully upgrade these puppies. In fact, I'm, I, I know I do. Uh, although these would be better. Hmm. I mean, they both do bleed, but this one does considerably more. Yeah, pretty effortlessly got that up. You know what? Why not do both? Why choose when you can definitely get through both of them? Cool. All right, downside, I will have to put a couple levels into strength. Well, actually, or I can just put this on. Okay, 208 by 136. All right, yeah, uh, these are better in every way by the looks of things. Uh, let's see how fast they are, actually. Oh, wow, they are dramatically slower. Yeah. Yeah, those are dramatically slower. Uh, how about the Warden Twin Blades? Where did those end up? 186 by 105. Alright, also they cost slightly more dexterity. Okay, we're sticking with what we got. Sure, they do bleed damage, but, uh... What's the point? <laughs> Most enemies are uh, not going to be too terribly badly affected by it. Anyway, we're going to go back to Sister Freed, and then we are going to enter the final DLC and uh, face off against the four bosses. Now, of those four bosses, two of them have given me quite a quite a many troubles. Granted, I said that about Sister Freed and the Nameless King and, and the Abyss Watchers. I also said Lothric and Lorien were easy, but I died to them twice in this run. I mean, I have an even record against them, but... Yeah... <clears throat> first things first, light the bonfire, and we will head on in uh, to the Ringed City. First, I'll need to draw my other weapon. So we're on the drag heap. Oh, we 
your head square on your shoulders, is it? I thought that clamoring tin can was the last. But here we go again. Huh. What is it you want from this old stone humped hag? Don't be I so hard on yourself. For you, not a smithereen. I just like to stand here and take in the view. I have business with you? Well, that came out of nowhere. If you think an old stone humped hag would be brimming with goodies? <laughs> I have none of that. <clears throat> the smithereen. Ha! She says, and then gives me <laughs> items. <laughs> At the close of the Age of Fire, all lands meet. At the end of the Earth, great kingdoms and anemic townships will be one and the same. The great tide of human enterprise, all for naught. That's why I'm so taken by this grand sight. This must be what it's like to be a god. Oh, if you just can't stop yourself, at least <laughs> hear this. Translation, shut up, Shithaid. Far below, <laughs> there's a deep, <clears throat> dark hole carved out of a tree. From time to time, voices brim from the depths of the cavity even now. Matterings of the very demon that Prince Lorien spoke of, I'm sure. Horrible sounds of an afflicted thing, yet cursing men. At the close of great... The Keep your marvels intact, love. You're talking At to Shithaid. At least until I lose mine. That time has passed. Anyway, uh, here's Slave Knight Gale, the guy who uh, brought us into this mess. He's going to point us down to the bottom. All we got to do here, jump. Boop. We will take no damage. Boop. Boop. No damage. How many of these things there are? Oh wow, there's a lot. Uh, this looks a lot like the High Wall of Lothric. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. So we appear to have gone back into the future... Oh dear. This is probably trouble. Close. 
All right, well, I got a Titanite Chonky for that. And uh, I love a lot of pain. Ooh, more Titanite Chonkies. I like it. Can't really use it, but good to have a dagger that I will never use. So, all right. As to whether or not that was uh, worth it, I guess uh, guess we'll never know. I'm gonna put on the Chloranthi ring now. I I think I need the extra stamina. All right, now once we uh, try to grab this, it's gonna crumble down, and we're gonna fall through this window. Thankfully, we will take no damage. Whoa! Okay. Ow. What? Did it die? Woo! Very odd sound design for these creatures. Uh-huh. Oh, yep, you're definitely first. Titanite scales. Let me guess. More ambushes? What? Interesting. Wow! <clears throat> now here's where we need to be careful. These little bitches right there. On the upside, there's a way to kill them. On the downside, they will shoot little light beams at us. There's not really a point of fighting them. Whoop. I mentioned I really don't like what y'all are doing. That's not good. Oh yeah, that's really not good. Seems like a good place to die. Ah! I won that fight somehow. I don't really know how. Hate how the, the dodge kind of gets you a little too far. There we go. Oh, yeah, this isn't great. All right, so the way forward... Oh, nope, never mind. It's through here. <clears throat> All right, we got the...
guy's just gonna come back. Okay, uh, I guess they just kind of keep on coming. Do they ever stop? The answer's no, could they? Okay, well, uh, good news is you can just kind of dodge roll right through them. What was that? Interesting. Very interesting. Dark Souls appears to be crumbling slightly. But hey, it made a bridge. Whoop! A bridge to more danger! Lovely! Oh! Look at you! You've got your head screwed on correct. Fantastic. To meet a kindred spirit on this god's forsaken crag. Patches, I know that's you. I can't remember my real name, so let's just go with that. Yeah, I you're have a feeling We're going to make a fabulous team. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Yeah, Patches, you're really not fooling anybody. Oh, come on. Ah, come on. Oh, thank goodness for the ash heap. Oh, I maybe shouldn't be quite so thankful just yet. Oh, this is a really bad place. Oh, there's more than one, isn't there? Alright, falling down here. Will this kill me? Possibly. Nope! No death. No death for me. That's nice. I don't know if it helped, per se. Uh, I do know there should be a bonfire near here. It's uh, definitely not down that way. I, uh, I think we can rule that out. Oh, hey, bonfire. Lovely. Warm my bones. Get my Estus back. Yeah. Alright, so this area is actually Earthen Peak from Dark Souls 2. Fun fact. It's, uh... Looks... Now, I may be wondering, is there a way to kill these guys? Yes. Yes, there is. It's not easy. You can't shoot them. But yeah, there's a way to kill them. Good to know. He, uh, he does not discriminate. He will go after whoever and whatever. This is not a great place to be.
Yeah, exactly what we need. One of those uh, inside of a poison swamp. Oh dear. Oh no, that's that's not okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna switch this out for this. Uh, and I'm definitely gonna switch this out for these. Yeah. And maybe I'll equip a dagger. I don't know how quickly I can run through here. unkind. I guess that's probably not the only one. Oh, wow. Whoa! Okay. I need to seriously rethink my hiding spot. Alright, I need to make this area safe. Uh, it's never really safe, is it? Anyway, that's about all the time I have for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.